hi everyone thank you for coming back to the channel and today's video I'm going to do a trash review I'm going to try to finish up the rest of the trash because like I told you I had a bunch of it saved up from the month when my mama passed away and I didn't do a trash review and then I was still saving it from that um, so I'm going to try to get through that but I won't make the video real long if it looks like it's going to go over an uh, extended long time amount of time I'll just stop the review right there and just finish it at a later time. So the first things I want to start with right here are some things I got at the Dollar Tree. This is uh, Coach Foods uh, Fully Cooked Chicken Strips. Now these are good if you heat these up like in your air fryer and put them on a hamburger bun and make like a chicken patty sandwich. Those are very good. A little mayonnaise and lettuce on them. And then they have these things called uh, Chef Pierre Boneless Pork Riblets. These you can heat up and do with a lot of things. You can put them in a casserole. You can chop them up and put them in spaghetti. You can heat them up just to eat them on your plate like with mashed potatoes and green peas. They're, they got barbecue sauce on them. They're very, very good. And they came from the Dollar Tree. And this right here also came from the Dollar Tree. This is the little bowls that I've been getting to do uh, Jade's dog food in. And they work out great. Um, they're just the right size to hold enough to last her for like two, maybe three days. And the blue color lets me know what's inside of it without having to open the lid. I just put it in the freezer and be able to pull it right out and know that it's Jade's dog food. So I'm, I'm stocking up on these. And then this is some of the uh, chicken broth that I used in Jade's dog food. But I'm no longer doing that. I'm using uh, bouillon cubes that I just put in a little hot water. And make like a broth and then I'm adding that to her dog food. Oops, made a little bit of noise. <laughs> okay, let me start with this pile right here. I don't know what's in it. Looks like a little bit of everything. This here, this was the manwich that I got when I made that chili uh, that I used that recipe for the meatless beef that didn't turn out very good. It called for a can of manwich. That's what I used in that. I like manwich. I've used manwich growing up for years. It wasn't the manwich that was the problem. It was that fake meat. And then I have some of these uh, Country Peach uh, Passion Celestial Seasons Tea that are really good when you heat them up. Have a little hot tea on Tea Tuesday. And uh, let me put this over here. And then this was from the uh, Jello Snack Pack that I got. There's only five calories in each of these containers. There's four containers in there. I bought those to have for like a little uh, sweet tooth snack without adding a lot of calories to my diet. And then, of course, I always do my yogurt in the morning. This one is blueberry and strawberries all in one container. I think there's uh, six altogether, three of each. Is that what it says? And then I did the same thing with the uh, toasted coconut. But there's four of these in there. Light and fit. 80 calories. That's what I like. And then these two right here were the Ritz toasted uh, chips that I really like. This is my favorite. These were okay. And I do like cheese, so I don't know why I didn't really care for these. They're not that great. But the vegetable ones turned out to be my favorite from the Ritz uh, crackers. And then, of course... The uh, pecan pies that I got at Walmart. Now, these are right here I liked. Um, I tried the cherry, the apple, the blueberry, and some of their other flavors, and I didn't like them at all. But the pecan's actually pretty good. If you heat this up in the microwave and put a little bit of Cool Whip on it, it's not bad, really. And then also the great value, uh, the light and fit uh, Greek yogurt from Peach Flavored is my favorite. I bought this in a four-pack. Save a little bit of money buying them like that. And this was the strawberry cake mix I used when I made that dump cake that I did with the Nutella that turned out horrible. This was the strawberry cake that I used in that. And then my uh, Smart Foods Krispy Kreme Donut Popcorn. I love this stuff. Walmart doesn't carry it all the time. I don't know why. Sometimes I'll go in there and it'll be there. And other times I'll go and it's not nowhere around. And it says... It says limited time, so I don't know. I wish it would become like something regular that they keep in there all the time. Because you could get a cup and a half 
which is quite a bit of popcorn and it's only 140 calories and it really it really does satisfy your sweet tooth when you eat it like that and then I had uh, some of the mushrooms that I used when I made those little breakfast egg cup muffins and chopped up and put in there and then I found this cheese uh, cheddar and Monterey Jack when they had it on sale uh, two for four dollars of this size block which was two dollars for one eight ounce block which is a pretty good deal for cheese and then the seedless grapes these I think I bought at uh, um, Harps Grocery uh, they were big and round I didn't really like them I like the grapes that are kind of oval shaped like egg shaped and these were round they were all right but they're not my favorite kind and then at Walgreens Every once in a while, they have this special where you buy one of these and you get two free, which is a really good deal. There's 20 bags in a box of this, and they're called, as you can see, they're called freezer bags. So you can pretty much freeze anything you want in these. I use them when I bring home extra meat, you know, to separate it out into portions that are enough just for me. Uh, you can also store other stuff in your house, like, like napkins and zip ties and paper clips and just anything. It's a good deal. And then my lamp in the living room is a three-way bulb, and so I got this. Uh, I think that I bought this at the Dollar Tree, but I wouldn't swear to it. It may have come from Walmart. Making a pretty good dent in my trash today. This was the strawberry that I used in that dump cake that turned out horrible. And this right here is a limited edition Little Debbie Mini Apple Cinnamon Donuts. These things were fabulous. Now, I really like these. Um, good apple flavor, and they got that powdered sugar coating on them. Of course, they're limited edition, so that means they're probably not around anymore. And then I found uh, Blue Bonnet Margarine on sale, so I bought four of these, so I stocked up on it. And this uh, Butterscotch and Semi-Sweet I used in a recipe that was uh, to make some uh, coconut topped candy that did not turn out at all. I didn't film a video on it. I was going to make it first and see if it turned out and then do the video. It was horrible. So I'm not going to waste my money buying the ingredients again to do it again because I did not like it at all. But I don't really think it was from the that particular part of the ingredients. I think it was from the oatmeal that I used. You probably really needed to use... Um, quick cooking oatmeal and I didn't I used that regular oatmeal stuff and it it was horrible and then these little mounds candies are the ones that I used in that candy cake candy cookie cake recipe that I made that turned out really deliciously good and these right here seemed to me like I already hauled these but I guess I didn't um, well, I did. I hauled them when I bought them, but I haven't did them in my trash review. I found them on clearance for 99 cents. I think the reason they were on clearance, the box was kind of, see how bent up it was? It was kind of scrunched in like this. And I guess the store decided they couldn't sell them with it all scrunched in, so they marked it down to 99 cents. And they were good. It was a little bit hard, kind of crusty. It was really hard for me to eat. But each one of these only had 140 calories in it. So for a little snack, like I would eat these in the morning with a cup of vanilla yogurt. And it made kind of a little good breakfast snack. And then these are the cookies that I used in that candy cookie cake that I made. Uh, everybody knows Chips Ahoy's cookies. They've been around forever. Favorite, favorite kind of cookie, chocolate chips. And then I found these brownies here, which I like these even better than Little Debbie brownies. They're uh, triple chocolate brownies from Hostess. They cost a little bit more, I think, than the Little Debbie's. Because you only, well, I don't know, you might get the same amount. You only get eight brownies in here. I think you get 12 brownies in Little Debbie. But it's two nineteen for Little Debbie's. And I think this is like two sixty nine. So it's, it is a little bit more expensive. And then I have my regular... Ritz crackers that I like to eat with my cheese sticks and peanut butter and cream cheese and stuff. Have that. And this was a TV dinner I got called Healthy Choice Cafe Steamers Barbecued Seasoned Potatoes with Steak or Seasoned Steak with Potatoes. I didn't like it. 
I don't know what the flavor was on it at all, but I did not care for it. So I won't be buying that again. And this right here, roasted turkey breast with savory herb dressings and cinnamon apples. Now this Lean Cuisine brand, I like. Now there was another type from this, from uh, Smart Ones that I bought that also had the dressing with it. It didn't have the apples, but it had the dressing. It was horrible. I didn't like it. The dressing was like dried up bread croutons that were just dry and crunchy. They didn't have enough broth on them or something. I actually ended up putting like a couple of tablespoons of water on the, the dressing to soften it up to where I could even eat it. But that one there was, that one was good. And then I got uh, Marie Callender's Chicken and Bacon Shepherd's Pie. Sounds good. Looks good. Was not good. Did not like it. And I will not be buying it again. The picture doesn't do it justice. It didn't look nothing like it. It definitely didn't taste that good. And then I tried Banquet Mega Bowl Chicken Fajita Bowl. It's a little chicken with rice and beans and veggies and stuff. This was really good. I liked it. I may or may not get it again. Depends on if I catch it on sale or have a coupon for it. And so I see that my video is running a little bit long, so I'm going to stop it for this one. And thank you guys so very much for coming to watch my um, video on my channel. I appreciate you so much. Do the thumbs up if you enjoy this and leave me any comments down below. I love to read your comments. Thank you so much for coming and y'all come back and see me any old time. Bye for this one.